Let's talk about something you're not supposed to see. Nuclear submarines. These aren't old U-boats. They're high-tech, secretive machines, more like underwater cities than ships. Imagine a vessel that can vanish beneath the waves for months powered by a nuclear reactor, a tiny sun at its core. Unlike diesel subs, nuclear subs don't need air or frequent refueling, they can travel thousands of miles limited only by food for the crew. The nuclear in their name is about propulsion, not weapons, though some do carry nuclear missiles. The reactor is the heart, providing power for everything, movement, lights, air, water, and life support. Inside it's a maze of pipes, wires, and cramped living quarters all run by a dedicated crew. Most of us will never see this world, but it's crucial to global security. These subs are feats of engineering, blending immense power with stealth. They're a testament to human ingenuity, and a reminder of the trust we place in science. Welcome to the hidden world beneath the waves. So, how does a nuclear submarine run for years on a chunk of uranium? It's all about the nuclear reactor, where uranium atoms split and release heat in a controlled chain reaction. This heat boils water, creating high-pressure steam. The steam spins turbines which turn the propeller and generate electricity. The system is a closed loop. No need to add water, no need to surface. Electricity from the generator powers everything. Navigation, sonar, computers, air and water systems. The reactor is heavily shielded to protect the crew from radiation. It's a self-sustaining power plant packed into a steel tube. This setup lets the sub move silently and stay submerged for months. It's engineering brilliance hidden beneath the ocean. Before nuclear power, submarines used diesel engines and batteries. On the surface, diesel engines charged batteries. Underwater, batteries powered the sub. But batteries run out fast. After a day or two, the sub must surface or snorkel to recharge, risking detection. Diesel subs are cheaper and reliable, but their need for air limits stealth and endurance. Nuclear subs changed everything. Their reactors don't need air so they can stay submerged for months generating their own oxygen and water. The only real limit is food for the crew. Nuclear subs are faster, can dive deeper and remain hidden far longer than diesel electric ones. They're true predators of the deep. This leap in technology redefined naval warfare. Diesel subs still have their place, but nuclear power is the gold standard for endurance and stealth. The ocean's apex hunters are here to stay. The biggest advantage of nuclear submarines? Endurance. They can circle the globe without refueling their uranium cores last decades. This means unlimited range and the ability to operate anywhere, anytime. Stealth is another game-changer nuclear subs never need to surface making them nearly impossible to track. They can patrol hostile waters for months, gathering intelligence or waiting for orders. Speed is also unmatched, nuclear subs can sprint underwater at over 25 knots keeping up with carrier groups or escaping threats. All that power supports advanced sonar, communications and life support making life on board safer and more comfortable. The combination of range and speed, stealth and power, makes these subs strategic assets. They're not just war machines, they're mobile, undetectable command centers. For any Navy, a nuclear submarine is a force multiplier. That's why they're so coveted and so feared. Nuclear submarines aren't just for war. In combat, they hunt enemy ships and subs, protect fleets and control sea lanes. But their most vital role is deterrence. Ballistic missile subs hide in the ocean, guaranteeing a second strike if attacked. This mutually assured destruction has kept the peace for decades. They're also intelligence platforms, sneaking close to enemy shores to eavesdrop, deploy special forces or tap undersea cables. Some even support scientific missions mapping the ocean floor or studying the Arctic. Their endurance and stealth make them perfect for covert operations and research. Whether it's war, espionage or science, nuclear subs are unmatched in versatility. Their swords and plowshares shaping both conflict and discovery. Their true power lies in what they can do, and what they prevent. Nuclear subs come in two main types, attack subs, SSN, and ballistic missile subs, SSBN. Attack subs are the hunters, fast, stealthy, armed with torpedoes and cruise missiles. They protect fleets, track enemy vessels, and strike targets on land or sea. Their job is tactical, aggressive, and always on the move. Ballistic missile subs are the Guardians, larger, slower, built for stealth and endurance. Their mission is deterrence, hide, stay silent, and be ready to launch nuclear missiles if needed. Each carries enough firepower to change the course of history. Their value is in being undetectable, a nation's ultimate insurance policy. Attack subs shape battles, missile subs shape strategy. Together they form the backbone of naval power. Silent, watchful, and always ready, they define the nuclear age at sea. 
the ocean's most powerful secrets travel beneath the waves. Nuclear submarines are powerful, but they come at a steep price. Building one costs billions, maintaining and decommissioning adds billions more. Only a handful of nations, like the US, Russia, China, the UK, France, India, and soon Australia, can afford them. Safety is a constant concern. A nuclear accident underwater would be catastrophic. Decommissioning is complex. Reactors must be safely dismantled and stored as nuclear waste. These subs are symbols of technological and military might but also of risk and responsibility. The future? Quieter, more automated subs, possibly with unmanned drones. Some say they're relics of the Cold War, others see them as essential for deterrence. For now, they patrol the deep, silent, unseen and always ready. They're a reminder of both our ingenuity and the dangers we've created. The silent giants remain shaping the world from the shadows, 